Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. If you've been waiting to jailbreak your iPhone, now is a really good time even if you have an iPhone 4. The reason being that a new web-based jailbreaking tool was just released that allows you to jailbreak your phone in less than two minutes. It's incredibly easy. I'll talk about it in a second. Now the reason that jailbreaking is so interesting is because it allows you to load on third-party applications that can change the entire iPhone experience and really fix all of the problems relating to the iPhone that Apple still hasn't fixed. For example, the lock screen. After you jailbreak, you can download an application that will allow you to put uh, new messages on your lock screen, the weather, sports scores, really giving your the, all that empty space some life. Another thing you can do after you jailbreak is add five icons to the bottom dock instead of just four like Apple thinks you should have. And another thing that you can do uh, after you jailbreak is load themes onto your iPhone that make it look a lot different than any other iPhone out there. It seems that every iPhone is just icon after icon because that's how Apple thinks your, I your iPhone should look. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what I've done after jailbreaking my iPhone. Let's get to it. <laughs> Now, of course, jailbreaking isn't for everyone. It voids your warranty, although you can always restore your phone back to the way it was before you jailbroke. And also, uh, many people that j have jailbroken their iPhone 3GS or below find that the device gets slower and battery life gets compromised. Now, with the iPhone 4, which has a bigger battery and a faster CPU, this is not really the case. I've been using many different tweaks, and my battery life hasn't been affected that much. It definitely has been a little bit, but not enough to where I wouldn't want to keep it jailbroken. So let's talk about some of the things that I did. I'm no expert on this and I'm kind of a beginner. So what I have here on my lock screen is a couple of things. I've got to look into my email and you can have multiple email accounts and I also have the weather. I can tap on uh, one of these emails and bring up a quick view, which is really awesome. So I don't have to unlock my device to read this email or to know that I have a new email from somebody that I do or do not want to hear from. So it's very convenient to have that. I'm gonna unlock the device now and I've got a few tweaks done here. For example, I've changed the carrier name up here to Pocket Now with a simple program called uh, MIM, Make It Mine. Now I took away all of the, um, the labels here with a program called uh, Winterface down here and I'll talk about that in a minute. Now there's a few other tweaks that I made that I want to talk about but first let me go into Safari and show you how to jailbreak your iPhone. It can be an iPad 2 now. Okay so I'm going to go to uh, jailbreakme.com And by the way, I also have a new message notification in the upper right corner. That's something you don't get out of the box but it makes a lot of sense. You should be able to see within a glance from any program whether you have a new email. Android lets you do this. Windows Mobile lets you do this. I mean, you should be able to do that on the iPhone. So here you go. This is how you jailbreak your phone. You slide it and within two minutes you'll have a new program uh, that is called Cydia. And of course without the labels you can't tell but this one is Cydia and basically it's like a parallel app store uh, that has tons of free applications that allow you to tweak your iPhone. Now something else that I've done here is with a tap and a hold of the center button I get this quick launch uh, area at the top where I can instantly toggle on and off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular data. I can get to the brightness to control within a touch without having to dig into uh, the settings menu on the iPhone. Another thing I've done is added a program, I believe it's called Five Icon Docs, so that, you know down here there's only four icons allowed? Well, actually, you can do five with this little application. Granted, they get a little bit scrunched up, especially if you have a mail notification there, but it's pretty cool. Now you can have five icons in your dock. So I'm going to bring that back out here. Something else that is super key uh, when, you, when you jailbreak your iPhone is to get a program that is called My Why. Now this actually costs money if you want to use it more than just for a couple of days, but it turns your iPhone into a portable hotspot. And this has been the case, this has been available on Windows Mobile and Android for a very long time, but you can't do this uh, with the iPhone out of the box. But when you jailbreak, you can download this application. You gotta make sure you have an unlimited data plan or else you're gonna go over pretty quickly. But it works very well. I tested this earlier with my laptop. I was getting 1.5 megabits per second down and about 1.4 megabits per second up. Critical, awesome application to have once you jailbreak your iPhone. 
Okay, what I do want to do now quickly is go into Cydia, uh, which is sort of the, the parallel application store. It's hard to describe, but it lets you download these third-party applications that change the functionality of your device quite dramatically. So I'm going to go over here into sections. This lists all the applications. A lot of this is free. There's another more premium uh, application, I guess repository you would call it, called Rock, which has a lot of for-pay applications, things that cost, you know, two, five dollars. So let's go down to something here and find something uh, that would be interesting. So let's go to say themes and 100% wooden theme that could be interesting or maybe not. And so sometimes it loads a description. Here it is. Uh, <laughs> Winterboard theme is fully wooden and this is what it looks like. So it just simply has wood in the background, nothing terribly spectacular. So I'm gonna click install and confirm and it's about 444 kilo kilobits, kilobytes. Okay, and it's done. So now I'm going to go to Winterface, which is that application that allows you to load themes. It's sort of a central application. And I keep calling it Winterface. It's called Winterboard. Told you I was new at this. So I'm going to go to Select Theme. I'm going to check off a wooden theme. And now I'm going to click Respring, and that will refresh the interface. This takes about 10 seconds. And I should have the wooden theme. Sometimes this doesn't always work. You have to be patient in finding the right ones. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so all this did is change the wallpaper. In some cases, it'll totally change the icons, how they look. So that was a quick look at what I've done to my iPhone within about 24 hours of jailbreaking. There's a lot to learn. It's a little bit confusing, uh, but I'd say that at this point it's safe. There are a lot of things out there that you can do uh, to impact your iPhone and make the experience a lot more interesting. So just as a recap, what I did is I used IntelliScreen to do the widgets on the lock screen. I used a program called SB Settings to get the drop down menu from up here. I used Winterface to load themes. I used something called MIM to change the carrier up here. Uh, and I also used a program called Five Icon Dock to allow me to place five icons in the dock on the bottom of the screen here. So please leave a comment if you've done anything interesting with your jailbroken iPhone. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.